Hey, this is Steve Gill with your Daily Notes for December 5th, 2012. Well, there's been a lot of talk about gun bans since the death of the Javon Belcher girlfriend and himself at the hands of two different guns that he used in that suicide murder. There are 300 million guns in America, and on any given day, 299,998,000 of them are not used to kill anybody. But of course, it's all about guns rather than people using guns. If you want to look at the statistics, it's kind of interesting. There are about 30,000 people killed each year with guns. Half of those are suicides who presumably will find some other way to kill themselves if they don't kill themselves with a gun. They can get in their car in the garage. They can use a razor blade in the bathtub. There are plenty of other ways they can kill themselves, and most of them, if they're that determined, will find a way to get it done with or without a gun. The other 15,000 are those that are killed in the commission of of crimes or killed by those uh, who are using guns in the commission of crimes. 15,000 a year. Now, that number is a lot less than the number of people who are killed on the highways each year by cars. Is anybody talking about banning cars? And most of those car deaths are actually caused by people who are drinking while driving. Hey, why don't we ban alcohol? That's as much responsible for a lot more deaths than people who are being killed with guns. It is not guns. It is not whiskey. It is not automobiles themselves, but people who kill people with guns and alcohol and cars and knives and bows and arrows and whatever else people use to kill people. It's people who do it. But if we're going to keep people safe by stopping the things that kill us, shouldn't we be targeting cars and alcohol way before we get to guns? If we're just going to go by actual statistics, truth, reality, and logic, which is something missing in this country these days. We'll talk more about it with your next Daily Notes. I'm Steve Gill. Go to gillreport.com for more.